Welcome back. This is pretty much part two of the Bronco saga. Now this beginning of this video might look a little bit familiar. My wife and I are in a Toyota on our way to the Ford dealer, uh, but this time we're in our 2016 Toyota Sienna. So the last video I made, I filmed that on a Saturday. It is now Tuesday and a lot of things have transpired since that last video. So I ended up pulling the video down uh, because I think people, uh, you know, were really getting a negative idea and they were posting some things on social media, Facebook and Google, negative towards the Ford dealer, which you, you guys are entitled to your own opinion. I appreciate you having my back, uh, but that's the story's not over yet. So I pulled the video down. I'm going to repost that video w along with this video so you guys can see the whole story. Um, but we did go back to the Ford dealer multiple times. Uh, we actually did a side-by-side -side comparison of a 2019 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. Real, real nice uh, used Wrangler. We took it down to the Ford dealer, drove them back to back, side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, so if you guys are in the market for a nice Jeep, Dodge, or Ram, definitely make sure you check out my man Bill Zivic at Deal Automotive uh, here in Moon Township. He's, uh, he's good people. So anyway, we decided we'd do, in fact, like the Bronco better than the Wrangler for what we're going to use it for. So we go back to the Ford dealer and I said, you could save this deal by giving me all the money on trade for this 16 Sienna and we'll trade this in instead of the uh, Tundra, which incidentally, the, the Tundra trade was really low for I don't know what reason. Uh, they were going to give me 38,000 on trade for my 21 Tundra Trail Edition with 9,000 miles. I posted it on Facebook Marketplace Sunday morning and I had it seriously sold for $50,000 in five minutes. So I don't know where that trade number came from, um, but we're still waiting to see what they're going to do on the van. Uh, so we're we're kind of excited now, you know, like I said, we drove the Bronco, you saw that in the last video. We like the Bronco. Um, we're real close now to making this happen. So we're heading to the Ford dealer now. Uh, we'll get to see the Bronco all cleaned up with the plastic off and we're gonna go from there. So stay tuned. So we're kind of playing musical cars in this video today. So now we're in the 19 Mustang GT Performance Pack Level 2 that I looked for for a year. Uh, so. We went to the dealership and we found out what they were going to give us on trade for the van and it was a good number. So I was pleased, you know, about what the trade value of the van was. Um, so, you know, we're still over sticker at this point. So I put the ball in my wife's court. I'm like, this is your car. You decide what we should do. So she talked to the, the sales manager and she's like, you know, at this point, I think we're just going to walk away. This is basically like flushing money down the toilet that we don't necessarily have. I think at this point, we're just going to walk away. And he said, you know, what, what can we do to make this right? We want to make this deal happen. What if we do five over sticker? So then we're back to square one. Like we kind of wrote it off and now we're like, all right, let's uh, revisit this. So... Oh, incidentally, in the meantime, <laughs> the first video, which I reposted, make sure you check out that first video. Uh, maybe right now, stop watching this video, go watch that video, get the context. Uh, kind of gained national attention by none other than Road and Track, which I can't even believe something I put out there is on Road and Track's website. I've been reading that magazine since, you know, before I could even drive. So, super thrilled. Uh, to gain national attention for my YouTube channel. I didn't necessarily want uh, to get attention for something like this, but you know, I'm trying to grow the channel. This, this could be awesome for me, but I'd rather be famous, potentially YouTube famous for, for something more positive. So I'm in no way making these videos to deter someone from going to Moon Township Ford. I've, I've had a relationship with them for 21 years. They have sold me probably 20 cars at, at fantastic prices over the years to me my friends my family uh, I own two Fords now I'm two miles away from them 
So I definitely have a vested interest in keeping this relationship going. Uh, so that was not what I was trying to do uh, with these videos at all. But you know, you guys can come to your own conclusion. Um, but as for me, I'm, I'm going to keep this relationship going with them. Uh, so I basically said, you know, we're, we're at the five grand over sticker dial. I said, what if you bump the van trade, which was already pretty strong, another thousand bucks. So they agreed to do that. So we're on our way back to the house and you're going to see the final decision on what we did with the Bronco. So is there a new Bronco behind this garage door? Of course there is! Happy wife, happy life. What do you guys think? Yeah. You like it? Want to go get some ice cream? Yeah! All right. All right, we are in our inaugural ride in the Bronco, and of course we're going to get ice cream with the kids. What do you guys think of the Bronco? Good. Yeah, a little chilly today for a convertible, but we couldn't uh, resist taking the roof off and driving to go get some ice cream. What do you think so far, babe? I love it. You love it? Love it. Tell them what you were doing last night. <laughs> Looking for wheels. What else? Tires. Joined Bronco Forums. I did. <laughs> I'm that girl. I joined Bronco Forums. <laughs> this is the first time of the 20 vehicles I've owned since we've been together that she's actually been excited about something. And I'm, I'm thrilled because maybe now she'll get into the car culture she already wants to mod the bronco we were looking at a bunch of different options i think the first thing we're going to do is tires and wheels uh, so we'd like to get your input on what you think we should do as far as tires and wheels should we go bigger on the wheel should we go taller on the tire you know we wanted the overall package to be bigger but uh you guys have some input on that i'd love to hear it so so far i mean the fact that we drove it home from the dealer right now we're on our way to get ice cream it's, it's pretty fantastic. It's awesome to have the roof off. Uh, so we are just super thrilled right now. All right, guys, so we did it. We ended up buying the Bronco for $4,000 over sticker. We thought that was a pretty fair deal based on what the market's doing. Um, would I love to pay sticker? Absolutely. Am I going to let this re ruin my 21-year relationship with Moon Tantra Ford? Definitely not. Uh, so as you can see, my wife and kids are super happy with the Bronco. Uh, for the 36 miles we've driven it, I really like it as well. So this is the end of the Bronco drama, but this is just the beginning of the Bronco build on the channel. So I'm super excited to start building this brand new vehicle. You know, we'd like input from you guys, what you'd like to see us do to it. Um, but so far there's not a ton of things available, but you know, the aftermarket is going to blow up for this as it did for the Wrangler. Uh, so super excited about this build. I appreciate you guys sticking by me through all this. You all had my back, which was awesome. Uh, so thanks for checking out my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram and have a great day.